Do you want to learn on how to carry games just like me in solo queue? Then definitely stay tuned and enjoy this gameplay. I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapons, but my outfit might take the soul. See my presence impressive, got strippers slipping off the poles. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner, turned her to a carnivore. Now she treat me like a burger. I don't know their names, but they all wanna ride all this energy. Hey, what's up, guys? The Artworker here, and for today's video, you guys will see probably the best Camille player, the best Camille gameplay. Um, yeah, this game is going to be absolutely insane. It's a high ELO gameplay. Currently, I'm in the top 20 or almost top 20. I was in the top 20, but I lost one game and I'm like 25 or something. And yeah, this gameplay is going to be super high ELO gameplay. Playing on Camille against Darius. So this matchup is going to be pretty exciting. The enemies have Katarina, um, yeah, one of the most broken solo queue champions right now and I definitely hate Katarina players and the champion itself, it's just absolutely disgusting. I missed one last hit and I guess it's not the best gameplay you have ever seen. My bad. So what you want to do in the early game uh, against Darius is use a grasp and also use your passive correctly. So you always want to try and poke him down, use one auto attack to trigger your passive and also the grasp and only trade within your passive so you're always going to end up having a positive trade. As you guys can see here, he only proc damage onto my shield so it doesn't even matter and he's already half alive, he has to take the plant. They also have Evelyn! They are disgusting! They are disgusting! They have Katarina and Evelyn! Disgusting players! Oh my god! You guys are definitely disgusting. I can't blame you because you want to get some LP. Some sweet, sweet, sweet LP. But still, disgusting Evelyn and Katarina abusers. Shame on you. Look at you. If you're Evelyn or Katarina abuser, shame on you. Okay, let's use the S2 over. Ah, he used the plant in time. Yikes. Maybe we can get that kill onto Katarina. Yep, she dies. And uh, does he die? Oh, Diana died. Yeah. We got first blood though, it's not too bad. And Vi is going to take the Scuttle. So, definitely an advantage into our favor. I lost one, one wave. Still got some gold from the cannon minion, but yeah. I think I fall, I fell behind because of this in terms of experience. Let's see. Yeah, he has a slight experience advantage, but not that big for stacks. Okay, I think I will just dash out. Overall, I still have the plan. I'm in the lead right now. Get the last hit. No, S2, I still get it. Uh, what you want to do on, on Camille against Darius for the skill order is actually going for max S2 first. Because you always want to keep harassing him. He has no healing. Unless you get hit by the S1, but if you don't get hit, he doesn't have any sustain and you can just keep poking him down using the grasp and using a passive and then always dash out after your combo. And once he's low enough, you just engage onto him and go for the all-in. Use your ultimate correctly to dodge the Darius ultimate and you will kill him pretty easily. If you manage to poke him down and rear him out, then that's how you play against Darius. Definitely though one of the harder matchups, it's pretty close. I would say it's skill based. Is it in favor of Darius? I think Darius can just run you down if you place Ghost. If you place Ghost and manage to cancel your third ability with his third ability, then he will win it. But if you can just go for short trades and dash away, then I would say Camille is in the favor, but definitely one mistake, you pay for it. You just die immediately. You do one mistake, you will just end up dying. Right now, question is, do I roam for the dragon? Or do I just keep fighting here? Try to poke him a little bit. Getting a ward into the tribush. 
Laning phase wise, okay, it's Cloud Drain. I think Cloud Drain is not too bad if we can secure it. Getting that positive. Oh, I didn't manage to get the second S1 off. That's unfortunate. But you can see we still managed to get a pretty positive trade into our favor thanks to the Grass Brune uh, for the Max S2 and also for Camille's passive. But I tell you this every time when I'm playing Camille. You always want to abuse the grasp and the passive correctly. So you always have positive traits where you barely take any damage and the opponent takes a lot of damage. Look at that. We have full life. He's kind of low. Can I go for the all-in? Nah, I doubt. I would just roam for the dragon instead. Because I managed to wear him down. He's kind of low. Question is, can we get the scuttle or do I come for the dragon? I feel like the fight is going to occur right now, so I'm definitely going to join this fight and see whether or not I can help them. Going to use the ultimate onto this Katarina, securing one kill. I actually misplayed. Did you guys see what I did wrong? I should have used S2 into Flash, but I, was, I wasn't sure if I needed it. I should have just... Um, do S2 into flash and then he gets slow, uh, he gets slowed, he takes damage and I probably would have killed her. Maybe even the S2 would have been enough. So definitely one mistake there, which I could have done better. But it's great to see when you are spectating your own gameplay and rewatch it, what mistakes you did and by rewatching you can actually learn a lot looking at all your mistakes and what you could have done better and that way you can improve a lot I would say laning phase wise I did a solid job against Darius, nothing too crazy um, yeah, managing, okay, just going to dash out, no problem laning phase wise I mean I didn't manage to kill him solo but I did a decent job at least Outroamed him thanks to the uh, trading we did and then we got the kill onto Katarina which was pretty good and we messed up the kill onto the Evelyn. So good roaming but bad execution or oh, decent execution but not perfect execution. And you guys might be wondering Darkbreaker didn't you say this is the best Camille gameplay you have ever seen? Just wait for it, relax guys. We're just 7 minutes into the game, the game is still closed, but relax, relax, relax. We are going to scale and I'm going to show you what am I, why, why am I saying it? Why am I saying it? It's 100% S tier in Master. And right now, Master is the equivalent of Challenger basically. Because Master is like top 50 and I'm in the top 20 right now. Okay, he has the passive. Look at what I did! Micromanagement. The moment Darius, he has Noxus Might, he's about to use this as one. He will get a shit ton amount of healing. I use my ultimate to dodge the first ability and secure that kill. Micromanagement of using the ultimate correctly, also really important. Going to use my teleport into this team fight, managing to slow. The Evelyn, I mean the Vayne. Okay, use my S2 again, securing that kill onto the Seraphine. Nice, going to ward, but yeah, looks like we can't do too much. I'm just going to push this bot wave. They might be fighting, I'm like, we are playing objectives. We are focusing on the objectives, getting that sweet, sweet bot turret. And we are going to get the bot turret getting the first uh, turret bonus gold and also opening up the map for us to split push harder. We can shove the wave much deeper into the lane and then we can just rotate and get all that action going. So, pretty solid stuff right now. Um, 501. Just going to use ultimate to secure that kill. Going to dash over the wall actually to that Evelyn securing that kill onto the vein using my S3 getting a triple kill and for the item build auto 
we use champion rune because you guys know we are no pussies. We ain't no pussy. We go for the champion rune because we know we won't die. We are going to snowball and we are going to carry. And even if we died, we got a huge early game advantage. Damage power spike. Oh, it's not a power spike, but damage boost thanks to the champion rune. 10% more damage. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to buy Guardian Angel. I have 7 kills. I'm godlike. I don't want to die. And I want to secure that champion rune effectiveness so I won't end up dying no matter what with Guardian Angel. So getting Guardian Angel and then Sterox Gage. And this way we can secure our zero deaths and our champion rune. Super ahead at this point and now it's time to snowball. You guys already know. You guys already know we are super ahead. Now it's time to snowball on those bitches. Anyways, let's roam down to the bot lane. Let's move. Deep push. We have teleport 30 seconds. And you guys know how split pushers work. I teach it to you guys all the time. Splitting, 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 and then teleport once you created enough pressure and join the team fight and get that 5 versus 4 team advantage and then you just win that team fight thanks to the advantage. Right now actually I'm just going to roam because I feel like yeah I, I can't really there's no objective up on the opposite side right now and I can really kill Darius on the tower so I'm just going to roam here just going to roam and jump on this fucking Evelyn because I hate this champion the most I'm going to eat the ultimate just going to use barriers so I can secure my guardian angel and not losing it and the cooldown of barriers is pretty low so it doesn't matter I have teleport in I have teleport so I can teleport back in after backing. So let's use teleport right now. And let's join for the cleanup. Let's go for the Darius. I mean the others are super low, I can just go for Darius to be honest. She flashed away, well played by her. We still have Guardian Angel, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use S2 into flash this time and secure the kill. This time we managed to pull it off and use it correctly. Should have done it at the first dragon fight as well and we would have got even more kills or one more kill on Evelyn at least. Getting another turret. We are we are snowboarding on the entire map. We are huge. We are huge and Infernal Dragon is going to spawn in one minute. The moment we secure that dragon we are just going to snowball super hard. And you guys can see I'm not playing um, pure split pusher Camille, I'm playing a Camille that tries to roam a lot and get a lot of action going and try to join those team fights, try to snowboard, try to help my teammates and that's basically how you have to play um, split pushers in solo queue. You can't just be a brain dead who just stays in the lane the whole time. You also have to help your teammates, get, um, get the snowball going, help them out. Just going to dash over, use my ultimate, I guess, and get that kill. Let's go. Um, Rift Tarot is at the top lane. I will just help pushing this wave so the Rift Tarot will crash into the top turret and we will end up getting the mid tier 2 and top tier 2 turret. Okay, Vayne, now what you wanna what you wanna do, man? What you wanna do? Girl! What you're trying? What you're trying? You're just going to end up dying! Come on! Come on, stop hinting! What are you doing? Come on, girl! Yes, you know you have no chance against me. You know it. Don't try it. What are you trying to accomplish? You have no chance against me. I'm 11-0. The best Camille gameplay. I can't die. I just have to carry this game super hard. You guys already know. So, Inferno Dragon, we are going to come. And if they try to contest it, we will just stomp on them. Where are you? Okay, Seraphine, you too greedy girl. You come on, what you trying, Seraphine? Come on, stop hinting. Stop hinting. We're carrying here. We're, okay, I'm <laughs> Dude, I'm greedy. I'm super greedy. I should do this. I'm super greedy. I mean at this point of the game, we are so ahead that I get 
absolutely mind-blowingly greedy. I get so greedy in this game. You guys will see, I will play so aggressive, like, without thinking about the consequences, I'm just going to jump in no matter what. We are so hit in this game, and you guys have to consider, we are not playing against um, randoms. We are playing against Catalon, who is um, top 1 Katarina, for example. We are playing against good players. We are actually playing a high elo game where we are hard stomping. We are stomping so hard, they don't even know what to do anymore. Maybe they should just surrender and uh, respect the Camille, man. Just respect the Camille. Camille, new skin, pay to win. Just pay to win. And you saw at the beginning of the uh, video, we are just hard carrying every game in solo queue using... Oh, I just messed up. I just messed up the cop. Oh, I just messed up so hard. And it doesn't matter. We are so hit up. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. They can't even kill me. I have teleport still. I can just backport and teleport back in. It doesn't even matter. It's calculated. I'm just giving them false hope. It's all calculated. Are we just still stomping on them so hard? But to be fair, don't do this. Look at you. Don't do this. This was int this was me inting super hard. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, Katarina is going to jump in. He's just. I mean, at this point, he's just so behind. He has no damage, and we are too tanky. We have too much damage. He just ends up dying. And uh, looks like the game is going to end any second now. So, if you guys have enjoyed this gameplay of us just absolutely stomping on those on those players then definitely leave a like subscribe and activate the notification activate the notification bell to not miss out on any videos 100% Camille performance I see you next time bye bye